In this video, I'm going to try to model a simplified suspension setup in MATLAB. I've divided this video into several chapters, so feel free to skip to the part that you want. This is the simplified suspension setup. This M1 mass represents the vehicle body mass, and this M2 mass represents the mass of the axle. This upper spring and damper represents the shock absorber in our vehicle. And this lower spring represents the stiffness of the tire. When this car is either traveling on a perfectly flat road surface or if the car is at rest, this whole system will remain in its resting position. In this case, the weight of this whole system is supported only by these spring forces. Therefore, we take the displacements y1 and y2 of the masses to be zero when the system is at rest. So we don't have to consider the weights of these masses in our calculations. Then we have to find the equations of motion for the system. So as our first step, we have to draw free body diagrams for each of these two masses. The directions of these spring forces which are acting on each mass depends on the relative displacement of the interested end of the spring with respect to the other end. Directions of the damper forces depends on the relative velocity of the interested end with respect to the other end of the damper. When I was drawing these free body diagrams, I determined the directions of the forces considering a state of the system with this relationship between displacements. Now we can apply Newton's second law to each of these masses and then we can determine the equations of motion for this system. I also added the link to a video in the description. That video really helps to get an intuitive understanding on this topic. Then I have rearranged these equations of motion in this way so that it is easier to convert these equations into state space form. Uh, now we have to convert our system of two second order differential equations into a system of four first order differential equations so that we can use ODE 4-5 solver in MATLAB to solve this system of equations. These are the state variables of our state space model and these are our state space equations if you want to get an intuitive understanding on this state space representation, I suggest you watch the video by MATLAB on this topic. I will put a link down in the description. These are the equations of motion of the system that we previously rearranged. Then we have to convert these equations of motion into the state space model as seen here. Now we have a system of four first order differential equations. Basically this model represents how a set of state variables change with time according to the states of the system itself and according to the external inputs. Once again I encourage you to watch the video by MATLAB on the state space model. Uh, I have put a link down in the description. Now I have opened the MATLAB editor. I have created three separate MATLAB script files inside the same folder. This data file contains the parameters of a sample case. I have created variables and stored the sample data in this separate data file so that we can later import this file to any place without cluttering that code. And this M1 is the vehicle body mass, M2 is the axle mass, F is the actuator force k is the suspension spring constant and kt is the tire spring constant c is the damping coefficient of the damper and we are going to use a sine wave as our road profile so that its amplitude is this and this is its frequency in this ss model file i have created a matlab function to represent our state space model Function name and the file name should be same, otherwise MATLAB will give you an error. I have given time and the state variable matrix as uh, input parameters to the function. XP is the output of the function. 
which is this vector in this line I have imported the data file to this code so we can use those sample data in this code without predefining them here yt is the function of our road profile which is the sine wave then I have defined each of these matrices separately A is this matrix B is this matrix U is this matrix then we can set our output matrix of the function to be equal to this linear combination of above defined matrices this is a state space model defined in MATLAB the solution file I have solved a system of four first order differential equations using ODE E45 solver as input parameters to the solver I have given the name of the file which contains our SS module function and then the time span that we need the system of differential equations to be solved for this is the initial conditions of the state variables of our system and then this ODE four five solver will output a set of time values in this vector t within the time span that we specified before this XL matrix is a matrix which returns the values of our state variables corresponding to the time values in t in this x1 variable I have stored the first column of this XL matrix which contains the values of our state variable x1 corresponding to the time values in t this state variable x1 represents the displacement of m1 in this line I have plotted the graph of x1 versus time in this x3 variable I have stored the third column of this XL matrix which contains the values of uh, state variable x3 corresponding to the time values in t this x3 state variable represents the displacement of m2 in these following lines I have plotted the graph of x3 versus time now if I run this file I should get two graphs one is the displacement of the vehicle body mass versus time and the other one is the displacement of the axle mass versus time let's run this file now I have two graphs this is the displacement of the axle mass versus time and this is the displacement of the vehicle body mass versus time you can see that the suspension setup is working because the displacement of the vehicle body mass becomes very subtle after some time if you find this video helpful please give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching